Back in 2020, Ruth's Chris found itself at the center of a public controversy that had even the family of the restaurant's founder calling out the steakhouse chain. It all began with a federal loan the company received as part of a government handout during the COVID-19 pandemic. The Paycheck Protection Program loans were approved by Congress as a means of helping out small businesses when the country was on lockdown. In total, the government approved $350 billion in funds. However, large corporations, including those behind Shake Shack and Potbelly Sandwiches, managed to receive loans as well due to a legal loophole, according to the New York Times. Due to Ruth's Chris having fewer than 500 employees at a location, the organization was able to receive more than $20 million in funds. Given that it made $227 million in 2020, many saw this as a misallotment of government resources. While Ruth's Chris ultimately opted to return the money, Ryan Fertile, grandson to Ruth's Chris founder Ruth Fertile, opted to share some constructive criticism with the brand. Taking to Twitter to voice his thoughts, Ryan condemned the chain for straying from his grandmother's morals by sharing a story of her kindness during hardships and disaster. The New York Times reports that Ruth Fertile spent most of her life in New Orleans and scraped her way up to the top as a single mother with two children. Ruth, seeking to send her sons to college, mortgaged her home to buy a New Orleans steakhouse that became successful, a true example of the American dream. While Ruth's Chris did eventually return the loan they were provided, in the spirit of his grandmother's accomplishments, Ryan Fertile expressed on Twitter that they should have never taken the loan in the first place. He wrote, I salute the decision decision you made yesterday to return the $20 million small business loan. But it's not enough. My grandmother believed in the virtue of giving, in community, in helping those in need. In particular, Ryan spotlighted how Ruth Fertile helped her local community after Hurricane Betsy devastated New Orleans and the surrounding cities and towns in Louisiana. The hurricane hit very early into Ruth's work at the steakhouse, and the storm knocked out power for thousands of people. In response, Ruth and her workers cooked steaks on gas grills to hand out to those affected. What's more, her disaster response was by no means the end of Ruth's generosity. She also employed a staff of single mothers, giving them the means to provide for their families that she desperately needed when founding the restaurant. Acts like these encapsulated Ruth's kindness for those down on their luck, and Ryan reminded the chain that such selfless efforts were an integral part of Ruth's Chris's history. That legacy is something that we cherish is something that we work very hard to live up to the standards that she set. Ryan Fertile was far from the only person to call out Ruth's Chris for taking a PPP loan. Before the company agreed to return the $20 million in forgivable loans to the U.S. government, it took a petition of over 250,000 people to convince them. The backlash to the $20 million was immense online, with small business owners taking to a change.org petition to voice their frustration. As the petition notes, not every small business could get the funds needed to stay afloat during the economic woes. The organizer wrote, Many small businesses are now being told there is no money left for them, and they cannot pay their employees and may have to close forever. This is a travesty and a disgusting display of corporate greed during a time of disaster. Claims from lots of small business owners echoed this complaint and highlighted the fact that such a major corporation was hardly in need of that much extra funding. Ultimately, the petition and public outcry worked, convincing Ruth's Chris to change its mind. However, it's not the first time that the chain has encountered public woes. Back in 2011, it was slapped with a class action discrimination suit, and as Ruth's son and Ryan's uncle Randy revealed, there was a lot of infighting among the family, even when Ruth was alive. In his memoir, he wrote, Nearly all the key players in the global empire of Ruth's Chris Steakhouse ended up suing her to get what they felt they deserved. Despite the company's tumultuous reputation, it is worth noting that Ruth's Chris has made charitable contributions. According to their website, in the last 10 years, Ruth's Chris has donated well over $100,000 to groups including the National Children's Advocacy Center, Harvest Hope Food Bank, Siskin Children Institute, Pattinson's Academy, and more. The restaurant group says they are, quote, proud to give back to their local communities by donating money, time, and service, though whether or not they live up to that claim is up to them.